As far back as I can remember, humans have always dreamed of flight, wondered what it was truly like to be a bird in the sky. But now, in the 21st century, we've done it. But do we really know what it's like to be up in the sky? Do we really have a bird's eye view? Or are bird's eyes just too small? I wanted to find out. My name is Aaron Dansby, and I graduated with a business degree from Public Ivy with very good grades. I'm now using my knowledge to help struggling businesses make it in this competitive market. This is Aaron Helps You Out. Dariush Farzad is the owner and operator of Southern Tier Balloon Tours. He takes tourists on hot air balloon rides all across the Finger Lake region of upstate New York. With years of experience under his belt, he was the perfect person to ask about the sky. So, what is it like being up in the air in a hot air balloon? So, a hot air balloon is like nothing else. It's scenic, it's surreal, uh, the earth is moving beneath you. You uh, don't get a sense of motion or any excitement other than euphoria because you're floating over anything, but it's not like a roller coaster ride. It's not like uh, anything you see in the movies. It's nice, peaceful, calm. Really awesome, and we do that in this basket. So you're not worried that the balloon will pop at any time? No, uh, it wouldn't pop. It's not pressurized, uh, but we definitely get that question more often than uh, I'd like to answer it. So how long have you flown this high air balloon? So I've been flying for about 17 years now. Um, been involved with hot air balloons my entire life. Got my pilot certificate when I was 19. I'm 37 now, so. I guess that math's a little off, I guess uh, 19 years, but I've uh, been, uh, uh, been doing it ever since then. I've been enamored with balloons since I was a little kid and always wanted to get my pilot certificate and when I did I started flying and here we are. Do you think that the length of time that you've flown a hot air balloon, um, do you think that's affected your voice with all of the helium in the balloon? <laughs> Well, we don't use helium. Uh, it's oh, a you hot. Don't, you don't use helium. No, no, it's a hot air balloon. So it flies with hot air. So the lift is created by hot air. Have you ever thought about maybe using multiple small balloons instead of one balloon like in the movie Up? Uh, it seemed to be very successful for him. We thought about it once and then I tried it myself and it didn't work out so well. So we canned that idea really quickly. The, the, balloons, the balloons popped. Yeah, and, and I don't weigh, uh, I'm, I'm not the lightest person, so we needed a lot of balloons. They must have been rather expensive to try out. Then. Yeah, yeah, and when you're trying to run a business, it, the, the profit margins really really got cut down, so so it wasn't the best of ideas. So, I think there's one question that everyone who's ever thought about um, hot air balloon pilots really want to ask, and it's kind of... So how fast is your fastest around the world time? You know, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure I'd beat the current record, which I'm assuming is 80 days. 80 days. And uh, I don't know, not really something I've thought about doing. You know, we're generally just doing passenger flights in the local area, but uh, going around the world does sound like a fun adventure. So how do you, how do you expect people to trust you as a hot air balloon pilot if you haven't even met the the first thing that everyone asks about hot air balloon pilots. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I guess uh, I guess I'm just really good at uh, fabricating my resume so that they get, hop in the basket. I mean, you're in the basket right now, so I obviously did something right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when are we uh, when are we going to get to fly this? So today it's a little windy out, so we can't fly today. But when the wind is a little calmer, uh, you know, we have great skies for it. Uh, generally do morning and evening flights and the winds a little calmer around those times we could we could go for a flight but for right now uh, it'd be a little too much wind to fly safely. Do you think that uh, when we have a better wind that you would let me fly the, the balloon? No, is, uh, do you want to fly it by yourself or while yeah. I'm in the basket? Preferably by myself to see if you know how, how difficult it actually is. Maybe take it around the world. Okay. Um, yeah, probably not. No. Yeah, probably not going to happen. A hot air balloon may seem like a dream, but it is certainly a reality. Maybe next time, I'll be able to experience what it's truly like to be up in the air. If you're looking for a wonderful experience, look no further than Southern Tier Balloons. Southern Tier Balloons. Come on up and slow on down.
As always, I'm Aaron, and this has been Ask Aaron.